going to go through and talk a little bit about how to set up Print Node in Business Central. So Print Node is a third-party service that allows you to do cloud printing. So if you need to, from within Business Central, print documents automatically to a default printer, you would use something like Print Node to do that. So the way it works is you'd go to printnode.com, you'd get an account. From that account, you'd get an API key and do whatever setup they require. And then you'd come back into Business Central to set that up so that we can print to any network printer from within Business Central. So the way that works is I'm, I'm in Business Central here and I'm going to come in and I'm going to look up the InsightWorks print node connector settings. So we're just going to go in and find our print node setup page there. And from here, I'm going to actually paste in the API key that I get from the print node service. So again, you go to printnode.com, you sign up, you set it up, and away you go. So from here, I'm simply going to come in and paste that API key I got from print node into this, and I'm done. So I paste that API key in. Once I'm done, I can just exit the screen. As soon as I try to exit, it says, hey, you know what, do you want to you know, set up all the printers and everything you've, you've already defined in print node? So I say yes. And it says, hey, we're all done and we're good to go. So we're it, that's it, we're set up. We've now linked all the printers that we've defined in print notes. All of my network printers are now available to me from within Business Central. So how do we use it? What we do is we go into the standard printer selections within Business Central. There's a shortcut uh, action to it from here, but you would just search for printer selections and, and go into it in Business Central normally. And in the printer selections, this again is the standard Business Central screen. This gives us the ability to easily come in and enter different printers that we want to use for different users, different reports, and those sorts of things. So if I come in here and I decide, you know what, for uh, myself, for a specific report like this particular one here, which happens to be an order confirmation report, which again, you can use the lookup to find uh, the reports you're looking for and everything. So that's the sales confirmation. I come in here and I decide, you know, when anytime I, I go to print that report, I'm going to print that on the showroom printer, right? And then I can say, you know what, if I've got maybe a, a PIC report or something like that that I want to use, like a PIC ticket that needs to print out, I can come in and I forget the actual report number but you know the, the general idea you can come in and choose a report id that you want to use and specify which printer it goes to so i'll just go into the full list here and we'll do a quick search for the pick ticket give business central so let's say i want um we're going to do the, the pick instruction on this particular one we could do one of any of these reports that you want to use we're going to grab this and we say every time I print this, it's going to go out to, you know, the warehouse printer, maybe the, the shipping printer in warehouse one. So what that does is it comes in and says, okay, this particular user, every time they print this report, it's going to go to this printer. You know, this report, regardless of the user that prints it, is going to go to this printer. And I could also say, you know what, every other report that I ever want to print, you, we leave this zero, is by default going to go to you know, maybe the accounting printer. Okay, so if I'm an accounting user, if I haven't specified a specific report, every report I print is going to go to the accounting printer. So that's basically how it works. You just come in here and you set these things up. Now we can actually do a little bit more on this as well. Once we specify the report, like this pick instruction, maybe we want two copies of that printed out, or maybe that pick instruction needs to print landscape or something along those lines. So what we do is we go into this print node print setting here, and we're able to come in and specify a number of different options for this particular printer and this particular report. So I can come in here and choose a different paper size if that's required. And this can be handy for labels, right? So if I'm printing a two by three label, you may need to specify that, that label size here in this list. But we can specify a paper size, or like I said, I could make this landscape instead of portrait, and I could say print two copies of that report every time it prints. So even if the report within Business Central doesn't have a selection for the number of copies to print, we can force those number of copies right here. Okay, so that's really all we have to do. Now, every time I print that PIC instruction, 
If I look at this, we're going to print two copies, landscape, and away we go. And everybody that prints it, it's going to hit this particular printer. If I go into a sales order and I print a sales confirmation, it's always going to print to my showroom one invoice printer. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to just do a search here, and I'm going to go into sales orders. And we'll just go into our sales orders here real quick. And I'll just choose the first one. And what we'll do is we'll just print that order confirmation. And you'll notice as soon as I do that, it says this is going to print on that showroom one invoice printer. So as soon as I hit print, I'm not going to get any user interface pop up. I'm not going to get a PDF or print preview or anything like that. I hit print. It'll automatically go out and print to that particular printer all magically. And that's really it. So again, the setup is extremely simple. You set yourself up in print node. You paste in the API key and you set your printer selections for individual users or specific reports as to where you want those to print, and you're done. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.